Despite pleas from health officials to stay home, millions of Americans traveled over the Christmas and New Year holidays. This is what it looked like at RDU today, with tons of people traveling in and out of the airport. As CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasko explains, now there is concern we could see another spike in cases in the weeks to come. Some leaving, some returning, all traveling through the RDU airport on Sunday, despite advice from the CDC to stay home. The Joneses celebrated the new year in sunny Florida. We left December 30th, uh, flew down to Orlando. Byron Bullock is traveling back to Nigeria for work. We will begin in-person classes on the 27th of January, so I'm heading back. I got to quarantine once I get over there. Maria Corona tells me she reunited with her dad for the first time since March. It felt good because my little sister just turned 15. We're Hispanic, so like quinceanera was a big deal. COVID cases and hospitalizations in North Carolina consistently set records. Some hospitals are nearing capacity and mapping out plans to add ICU beds. State health officials worry holiday travel could make the situation worse. You know, obviously with, with the COVID situation uh, continuing to escalate, it's, 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 uh, it's a big concern for me yeah, to travel at this time of year. Other travelers echoed that same concern, but tell me they were able to rationalize their travel plans. We had a tragic accident last year during this time for the New Year, and we just wanted to get away. I don't believe it's over yet, and I believe people need to be real careful. But what you gotta do. In Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.